Hi, my name is Alyssa and I'm a chemistry major in the College of Natural Sciences. I'm also a peer advisor for the Renoa Peer Advisor Program and at the Pre-Health Pre-Law Advising Center. Today I'm going to explain to you the repeat policy. To do so, I'm going to go through a couple scenarios. Now in my diagram, this first column will represent the first time a student takes a course. The second column will represent the second time. And the third column will represent how it affects your Renoa GPA and what will show up on your transcript. Now in the first scenario, let's say a student takes a three credit course and receives an F. Now this is not a passing grade, so they will not receive those three credits. They take the course again, study really hard, and receive an A. Now with the repeat policy, there are two hard and fast rules. The first is that grades never disappear, and all grades will show up on your transcript. The second is that students can only receive one set of credits for each course. So in this scenario, they will receive their three credits, and on their transcript, both the F and the A will be there. Both grades will also be calculated in their UH Manoa cumulative GPA, and they will receive their three credits. Now in the second scenario, let's say a student takes a course and receives a grade between a D minus and a C minus. Now technically, this is a passing grade, so they receive their three credits. However, this grade may not meet certain requirements, such as their minor certificate, major, or graduation requirements. So they take the course again, study really hard, and receive an A. Now, since they already received credit the first time they took it, they won't receive credit the second time. On their transcript, both the C- minus to D- minus and the A will show up on their transcript, and both will be factored in their UH Manoa GPA. They will also receive their three credits. In the last scenario, let's say a student takes a course and receives a grade of a C or better their first time. Again, this is a passing grade and they will receive their three credits. Perhaps the student is interested in going to graduate school or going to professional school and wants to show a better grade for this course. They decide to retake the course, they study really hard, and receive an A. Now again, since they received credit the first time they took the course, they will not receive credit the second time. Both the C and above and the A will show up on their transcript. However, in their UH Manoa GPA, only the C or better grade will be factored in their GPA. Thank you.